What's up everyone, it's Impact Easy, and welcome to Terminus Zombie Survivor. We are going to start our zombie survival game. Uh, a lot of people compare this to Project Zomboid, and I, I guess I get that, but it's really nothing like it. <laughs> so, it's kind of got its own vibe and its own feel and its own play style. Yeah, I mean, I can see where they get the comparison, but it is nothing, well, it's 95% not like Project Zomboid. So <laughs> we're going to get in this and see how long we can survive. I'm really enjoying it. We're going to start a new game and we're going to be picking the soldier. The soldier seems to be the one that I do best with. Not that I'm an expert at this game by any means, but just the fact that he has really decent stats to begin with. Alcohol preference, really not much difference. I mean, we could do cigarette or coffee, not much difference. I haven't really done much with that either. We can move our stats around a little bit, but I mean, I would like to have a little bit of visibility considering, you know, seeing is what's going to keep us alive. Let's change our fella. There's not much you can do here. It's just pretty basic game. Well, not a basic game, just basic. Obviously, as you can tell, it's pixelated, early access, and um, it's just really fun and challenging, to be quite honest. Let's uh, change our name here. We're a soldier. I don't... All right, we'll pick the white shirt because I, I kind of want to be able to see him, <laughs> you know. Uh, there are a bunch of other stuff here, but I guess you have to unlock these by... You can use it by surviving two occupations. Okay. Gameplay settings, pretty much normal. We could play on hard. Increased AI difficulty for veterans seeking a tougher survival. Not a bad thing to do, I guess. More numerous and stronger. Let's go hard. Why not? Let's just go full in. Why not? I mean, we're not going to play on Insanity or Apocalypse. Yeah, I think hard is going to be a fair challenge. All right, so infected zombies are attacking people. Your house is still safe, but electricity and water have been cut off. And there are a few supplies left. In your last communication, you learn that the surviving people have gathered in Terminus. Arrive at the Terminus safely to survive. Tip, you can get a radio and listen to the broadcast or follow the railroad tracks to find out where the Terminus is located. All right, so procedurally generated world, which makes this super fun. You never know what you're going to be walking into. And as you can see, I mean, you're. I hate to keep comparing it, because I said it's not, but as we play along, you're going to see why people are comparing it to Project Zomboid, but A, Project Zomboid has had a lot more time in the oven, and two, they're just, I mean, they are, but they're not. It's just different games altogether. Project Zomboid, that is something I haven't played in a while. Anyways, let's head over here. We will search these. So we have action points that are going to kind of constitute everything that we do. And we only have so many action points before we have to end the turn. So we kind of have to fig figure out what, or prioritize what you want to use your action points on. Uh, fighting helicopter flight manual. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be flying any helicopters anytime soon, but who knows? So we have... 20 AP altogether, I think if that adds up. Um, your AP go down as you... I don't know what... Consti default based on health. Increases when energy and morale are high. Okay, so the lower your energy and morale, the lower action points you have, which makes sense. So we have pretty much our base stats here. Our inventory, which we don't have much. We do have a knife to start off with. Uh, details of our surroundings, experience... Combat Instinct, Stats, which we are an alcohol preference. Okay, so we can end the turn. We also have our icons over here. We can cook or sleep. Don't really need to do much there. We just need to move and kind of search this area. Crafting and just a book. We'll take them all. I guess we should move. We should have picked this up. What is pick up again? Is it G? Yeah. We'll take it. Whoops. Couldn't find anything useful. That's a shame. <laughs> We're not really searching this house efficiently. We kind of have walked all over the place. Oh, there's a zombie over here. I 
just want to see if there's anything. Yeah, there's nothing over there, but we're going to pick this up anyways. Okay, so we don't have much action points left. We could possibly just move down here. We can move down to this door and then, yeah, we'll just end our turn. Ooh, zombies are starting to try to come in. All right. Let's open the door. We're going to move one tile at a time because we don't know. We don't want to move too many, especially at nighttime. You never know. Well, I mean, we could move two tiles at a time up here, but you never really want to. If like if you're in a house, uncovering a house, you never want to walk more than, you know, one or two tiles. You might walk into something you don't want to be involved with. Okay. 12 AP. Wow, that is a lot. That is... <laughs> no, we can... We'll just wait. Actually, there's a door here I totally missed. Yeah, search here. Got a bibble, chocolate bar, and clean water. That's useful. All right, is that milk? No more clean water. They need to change that. <laughs> it looks like a jar of milk. All right. I wonder if I, how far can I get can I get over here? Nice. So we didn't really waste even a turn, anyways. God, I didn't see that door until. Yes, we are going to move. All right, our map. So we do have our map. So our house is here. We are here at another house. We have to go somewhere to the terminus eventually. Um, I think we get a map or... Uh, well, I found a map before. I don't know if you find that every time. So let's just... Okay, we have something rotting over here. Why can't I move here? Not enough X. Oh, not enough AP. So day one, daytime, 10 o'clock. Trying to find the door of this place. We can look in the window. There's no, well, no zombies that we can see. We can try and break the door. We're going to go through a lot of our supply doing this. I'd rather just move here, maybe... Oh my god, even the knife to the window. Alright, end our turn. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna... I've never broken through a window before, so it's open. I was just, I didn't know if we were going to get, find useful items by searching a rotten corpse. Searching it will cause disease. Well, we don't want that. Definitely don't want disease. Not enough AP. Wow. We need... It just seems like our AP is never enough. More books. Another bibble. Cereal and a vitamin drink. A fresh orange. I don't think we really need to be drinking or anything right now. Let's pick this up. And we'll head over here. Street map, nice. Let's, um... Can we read that? Uh, 
use. Oh yes, you can uncover places or something. How does this work again? Select the location to check. Anyways, we don't have enough points for it. Can I just read? All right, so we don't have enough to read anything else. It costs one action point. I don't think we're getting close to sleeping just yet. I would like to read this cooking pamphlet, though. Army base stew. Not really into the helicopter flying school just yet. And we could probably drop this. Its value is low. I probably didn't weigh much. Crafting recipe. Let's just read it all. We can make a crude arrow. Wooden arrow and a hand crank generator. There goes all of our action points. <laughs> We're just sitting here reading. I wanna make sure we read all this. Yeah, we already did. I guess we'll just read the book. I don't know what that is, but we've... I don't want to search that rotten corpse. I do not want to get diseased. I don't know if it's a guaranteed disease. What happens if we read the Bible? Oh, we don't have enough. Okay, we're going to have something to drink now. We could probably eat... The freshness 75. Yeah, we probably want to eat this fresh fruit, f fresh food first. All right, that'll give us some more action points. We're just... <laughs> Doubles when inside a church. Oh, it increases my morale. Okay, I think we've done enough reading for now. Our morale is good and we need to move on. Now, we could go up or down. I guess we'll go... up? Yes, we are going to rest and move out. Haven't met... We've had one zombie, but we haven't... Uh, We haven't been attacked by anyone yet. I'm sure that's coming. All right, so we got a door up here. Where are we, by the way? House. And there's blood everywhere. Uh, I don't want to break the door. There's a door up here. Let's check it out. Good to look in that window as well. This window is actually broken already. And it's nighttime. Our energy is actually pretty good still. We just don't have it. I can't see anything. What is that? Oh, I don't want to sleep in a house that we haven't cleared yet. It's not ideal. We don't have any movement points. Not in a great situation right here.
I have to clear this house, but and obviously walking into dark tiles isn't ideal either. But uh, I just don't want to sleep in a place. I, why can I not move there? There we go. That was strange. Antidepressants. Yeah, please. Ugh. Salt? Ooh, I forgot to pick this up. Uh, what is this? Scrap metal. We searched everything. I think what we're gonna do, let's close this window if we can. We have enough action points to get over here and we're going to sleep. And wait for the morning. Yeah, it's not great what we're doing. Hydration's pretty low. We'll have a... Oh, it's empty. There we go. Okay, zombie there. We need... We need to move up because we need to kill it. Out of sight. The zombie is out of sight when attacking a zombie that is not in sight. The zombie HP is not shown. The hit chance is greatly reduced. At, <coughs> at night, you can make a fire or turn on lights to see them. All right, we got lucky. I don't see any light switches, though. That's why nighttime sucks. Because <laughs> I can't see nothing. And I don't have... A flashlight. Cigarette. All right, more clean water and lumber. Ooh, we got zombies coming in the house. The, the window's broken. That's everything in here. I thought we picked this rag up. I guess we didn't. I'm not going over there to pick it up now because there are zombies. Oh, I don't really want to go outside right now. No, I want to... God damn it. <laughs> Close the door. You have accumulated enough experience. The actions for survival are ingrained in your body as a useful skill for survival. Select a skill, a survival skill you want to uh, acquire. On a path you've already used. Sanity and cooking. I think we'll do this for now. Yeah, I had a feel... There we go. It's finally daytime. Let's close that. And I guess we're going up. Let's 
was gonna say, I doubt we have enough. Yeah, we need nine. Crafting... The only thing we can really do is a makeshift bandage. I guess we... a skewer... Wooden spear. Nice. Oh, we're missing... Yeah, we're missing, um... Material, though. I guess we know how to build it, we just don't have the... Exp the, uh... Ingredients for it. Alright, let's go up. We're at the police station. Lantern, yes, please. Let's just take our time here. Have a f Sanity is a bit low. Want to check out these windows, yeah. Ooh, we got two zombies. We don't have a lot of action points right now. I'm just gonna move as far away as possible that I can. They didn't follow me. Maybe they didn't see me? I don't know. Oh, now another flashlight, okay. We don't have a lot of action points. Again, if there's a zombie in this room, we'd be kind of screwed. What's my max? Like, how much can I carry? Because I'm sure that having more than what we can carry is going to slow us down by taking action points. I don't know. What we could do while we're here is possibly read? Our morale's pretty high. How do we increase sanity? I mean, chips always increase my sanity. Energy drink as well. Action points. This would be pretty helpful in this situation. Beer. Morale, yes. Look at that. Sandy plus two. I think we're good to open the door now and take a peek. Okay, nothing's in here. Perfect. Another lantern that we... Well, we don't need it. We already have one. Pasta. Wrench. It, it can repair broken vehicles. It can be used as a weapon. Scrap plastic. energy drink. So we've searched everywhere. That's going to lead outside. We have to come over here. Hello, zombies? No. <clears throat> Could probably drink that energy drink right now gonna give us two action points drink
drink the beer. And the energy drink, why not? Oh, it's a bone knife. I thought it said broken knife. I'm going to drop some of this stuff that is possibly heavy. That's kind of slowing us down. We could put this on. Weight of two. It's just a plank. We'll drop it just to give us a bit more freedom. The value is low. It's So brightness of 4 consumes 15% charge. Charge of 47% can be used 3 times. This can be used 0 times. Let's drop this. Because there's no sense in... Can I... I was going to say, can we dis uh, disassemble it to get components? But it, that's not giving me the option. That'll save us a bit of weight. I mean, that's 5.5 .5 weight. I think that's good. We are encumbered by 3.2%. That is something. Is it because of this? It might be. Encumbrance, 1.6. We'll just keep it off. We don't really need it. We're not cold. Um, did I search this? I think so. A rag shirt. Probably not the best thing to pick up. Clog up our inventory with. An umbrella. Can be used as a weapon. That is a one flimsy weapon. Not going to pick up that plank. They are too heavy. See, if there was a zombie right here, we would not be in a great spot. We've been getting lucky. A flower. Eating it gives the follow effects. The following effects. Plus 10 sanity. If I eat just straight flour, I think I would go actually insane. <laughs> just eating straight flour out of the box. Space. Space bar for the quick. Weak antidepressant. Duffel bag, nice. And pliers. Well, there's no excuse to be depressed now. We got plenty of antidepressants. So did that... So you are wearing a large, versatile bag for heavy loads and various uses. Capacity 45, weight reduction 45%. Huh. Well, we will put it on. And then we're going... <coughs> excuse me. current location. We could go up here. This might be a... Well, I don't know if it's a dead end. It could kind of fork off. Or we could go... 
West. I think we'll go West because over here is really not going anywhere. So we know there's zombies in and around this area. And I don't have a lot of AP left. I'd almost want to, yeah, let's wait this turn. Watch this be locked. Okay, so there's zombies right here. One on each side. We should have enough action points to take care of this. I'm really hoping so. Nice. Oh my god, this guy's crawling. No! Beautiful. Let's continue on. Energy is getting pretty low. Yeah, so as long as you have... You always attack. The only time the zombies are going to attack you is during their turn. So as, as long as you have enough action points to take care of the threat during your turn, you don't have to worry about it. That's how we were able to take care of those two zombies, because we... We were here with like 10 plus action points, so we were able to smoke them both. Oh wow, we actually have to... We have to drink something and then... Or... Energy and morale, so we need energy. We, we actually have to sleep. I don't have enough action points to leave this area. I can't sleep here. Fair enough. I could go up. I'll go up through here. Yeah, we'll have enough action points. Here, let's actually read. If we can read, let's do it now. All right, now we can wait our turn. We should have more than 10, yep. The grocery store. Zombie, ooh, we don't have a lot of AP. Oh my God, we're gonna get smoked here. I didn't check that, totally my fault. If I, I should have checked that. What can we do? We might take some damage. Let's get our clothes on. Give us as much protection as possible. There's nothing I can do here to distract or... We're just gonna have to eat a shot. I shouldn't have moved. That's... We should have stayed there. Oh, we're gonna take a shot here. Or not. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised on that. What time is it? It's five o'clock. There's a zomb. Oh, it's a big zombie. I was gonna say, that doesn't look good. It probably means he's a it's a stone on the ground. 
I guess we'll pick up the stone. I don't know. If... He's coming out. Okay, here we go. We gotta take care of this guy now. God. Attack! Head attack, minus 50%. There we go. Fighting knife. Switch it out. Oh. Okay. That's what you get, fool. A little worried about that fight. I want to switch our weapon out. I don't. I we probably want to save this for. Its condition is seventeen percent. Probably want to save this for what we just did—the big fights. Anyone here? Oh, excuse me. Been dealing with this cough for a week now. Oh, come on. Can't tease me with a grocery store and not give me anything useful. Whew. It's a rough one. Ooh, batteries. So it's... 8 o'clock? Assuming it's going to be nighttime. Yeah. Holy smokes. Let me just eat this now. Just eat it. Doesn't seem to be any more zombies in this area. Sanity and hydration. Now yeah, we'll just take it. Once we search this area, we're going to sleep. Let's, yeah, we're at 13.4 hydration. Let's just sip it up here. Well, looks like those waters last a while. And... We will move up here and sleep. Until energy is fully restored, until all status ailments are healed for a set amount of time. No alarm clocks are available. Okay. Oh, shoot. I don't think, well, there might be a zombie in the next room. I'm just, I'm just not hearing anything. Oh, God. Wake up. Wake up, you asshole. <laughs> Good grief. Wake up. Oh, 
cover. One action point. We have a lot of action points, so I'm not... Actually, go up here and close this door. Oops. No, I want you to interact. Looks like we have a merchant in here or something that I cannot see. Let's turn our torch on. There are no lights available. Don't we have a torch? We'll use the lantern. Why there are no lights of... Why can't I use my lantern? Do I put it on the floor? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Take. Let me start... Let me, um... Let me use the tools that are available to me. Talk. Let's just talk to him. What's happening? Oh, he's coming into that window now. Threaten view info. Trapper, trade penalty, 99%. She will trade her items at a 99% higher value. Well, why don't we trade with you? We don't need two Bibles. We've read that. Are we just getting, like, totally ripped off here? Yeah, there's no, like, money exchange. It's all items. Battery would be nice. Acceptable. Not acceptable. Hmm. Batteries for a Bible and a book. The vertical foregrip, a machete. Nice. You don't want any clothes? What about some antidepressants and clothes? Ooh, they'll actually just take the gloves. Durability is very high. Conditions 36.9. Crafting speed, 20%. Can we switch that out? There we go. This is out of... Has minus 50% um, head attack. Nuts. I would have never have guessed that that was nuts. Black hoodie. I thought that was a magnifying glass. <laughs> that's, that's a pan. Can be used as a weapon, possible actions to cook. I don't know if I want this machete because it doesn't do head attacks. I mean, we could do body attacks. There's nothing really stopping us here. Um, we'll take it. It seems like a reasonable... Will you take weak antidepressants? No. You want the good stuff. Well, morale hasn't been an issue, so we'll trade. Pills for machete. And are you 
still not happy with us. We have a zombie at the door. At the window, sorry. I can't remember if I've searched this. Looks like we can store our items. I never really have looked into that before. Couldn't find anything useful. I don't know if I can attack a zombie through a window. It looks like we can. Boom. Freaking one shot. Okay. So, that's everything in here. It's a grocery store. We need to go up. We have to go up. Over this way. And there's nothing else to do in this area. There might be a zombie, so we have to still be careful. Just scrap metal. I'd like, yeah. We'll move up here to pick it up. And we're going to move one tile at a time, because that's... Damn it. Well, I don't even have... Well, we were in a situation before and they didn't attack us. It looks like we are in his range of attack, which sucks. I can't move. We're stuck. Maybe we'll take a hit this time. No. Thank God. Oh, I don't want to use... I want to save this knife. Let's switch weapons. I mean... Oh, God. We just took our arms off. Bone knife is broken. Kitchen knife. We're kind of experimenting here because we have action points. There we go. Kind of a waste. Let's not waste all of those action points. Let's read something if we can. That's pretty much most of our action points. The hardware store. What is this? Are we cold? What's that little icon here? Temperature 9.9. .9. I mean, it's not freezing by any means. It's not... There, cold. Lose... Oh, wow. Point... Not a lot of HP, but still something to look out for. Might have to put on that uh, jacket that we sold. <laughs> what about... What about the gloves? Do they give us heat? I don't think so. Something to consider, definitely. But I think we're going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the introduction to this game, and I hope we're going to continue on with this series. If you did, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.